Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to burn the bootloader to your Atmo 80 Mega 328p POD package. So please make sure to check out my previous video build an Arduino on a breadboard because we're going to um, continue after building the circuit in the same way. I'll leave a link in the description and the video should appear to you here as well okay guys so here is our chap on the breadboard as you've seen in the previous video so now what we're gonna wanna do is get our Arduino so I'm using here Arduino Ono and then what we're gonna do now is just plug it into the computer and open the Arduino um, studio Okay, so I have just connected the Arduino. So first things first, you're gonna go to tools and you're gonna go to port and make sure you select your Arduino Ono board. And then you're gonna go to programmer and make sure it's AVR ISP. And then what you're gonna do is go to file, examples, and then choose Arduino ISP and click on Arduino ISP. So what you're gonna wanna do now is just upload this to your Arduino Ono. So we're gonna go to sketch and then click on upload. Okay, so it's done uploading. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do now is just unplug your Arduino and we're gonna now make the connections. As you can see in this picture, this is the connections made between the Arduino pens and the chip pens. Okay guys, so now let's wire up our Arduino and the chip. So first of all, we're gonna connect pin number 13 on the Arduino with digital pin number 13 on the uh, chip, which is actually pin 19. So this is pin 15, 16, 17, 18, and this is 19. And we're gonna connect pin 12 on the Arduino with digital pin 12 on the chip, which is actually pin 18. And we're gonna connect digital pin 11 on the Arduino with digital pin uh, 11 on the chip, which is actually pin 17. And we're gonna connect pin 10 on the Arduino with the reset pin, which is pin one on the chip. And now we're gonna connect the 5 volts rail to the 5 volts of the Arduino and the ground rail to the ground of the Arduino as you can see we're gonna connect our Arduino to the computer and now we're gonna go to tools and make sure we select our Arduino board and then go to the programmer and select Arduino as ISP and then we're gonna go to tools and choose burn bootloader okay so it's done burning bootloader so now the Arduino bootloader is um, on your chip and it's ready to be programmed and used. So that's it guys. Thanks a lot for watching.